Hello YouTubers, today doing unboxing, uh, I hit the record button, obviously it didn't record of unboxing this wheel for a e-bike, it's a 1500 watt rear wheel, uh, wheel that comes with controller and everything like that, so I already unboxed it, I hit record for some odd reason, it didn't record, kind of frustrating, but this is what it came with right here, so we got the tire here. Obviously, we're probably not going to be using that. And then we got the wheel itself that it came with. Which is heavy. So, this is... This has got some weight to it. Let me tell you. So, I'm going to have to hook up my... Disc brakes. Basically, my caliper. Or, not caliper, but my disc brake. So I'm gonna put my disc there and we gotta put the comes with a spindle. Now this was just hanging freely in the shipping right here. Let's put this on the side real quick, carefully. So this was just in the box. I imagine this goes here. I don't know. But it was just loose loosely in the box. Now we got the rubber seal that it came with. That's pretty nice. Some of them don't come with it. But if we look over here, this is a little rough right here. So I'll probably have to sand this down so it don't pop no tires. I could feel like just a little sanding. Ain't much. But I got this for my Moto Pecan. I'm gonna be upgrading. It's a disc brake Moto Pecan. It's one of my Moto Pecan's bikes. What I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna upgrade this to, to electric. I got actually got a battery bank that I'm building and stuff like that, rechargeable battery bank with cells. I'm going through uh, charging them up, finding out the milliamperage and the voltage. So it's gonna be a pretty interesting build. As you can see that fell off, but I'm pretty sure that's what fell off. It was inside the bottom of the box, luckily. So then we got our sprocket that we can put on the back. We screw that on the back right there. So you put that on this side right here, or you could use if your own sprocket will fit. So that's probably why they do that. Then, if we look in here, in the box. So, this box right here, this is the controller. So, speed controller, your battery. But I'm going to have, on my BMS, I'm going to have, like, voltage of each cell and everything besides this, too. So, I'm going to have two screens. Power. We got an inner tube that it came with. Uh, basically, I don't know what you want to call this, a hall sensor, if I'm wrong or correct with that one, but it's like your speed sensor to tell if you need to be able to, well, I think it, that's what it is. And it's on speed sensor. So I'm not probably gonna be using these grips because I'm using like a 10 speed type bike with a little bit of fatter tires, my Moto Pecan. And then we got the brake handles here. Brake handles. Which I'll probably modify, work with my other brakes. Probably a junction box for the power. Not really too sure on that one. Some zip ties. And then 
where the controller is. Let me grab the controller. The controller's right here, behind me. So this is the controller right here. That I'm be hooking up. Now I went with a 1500 watt controller. So I'm gonna be doing some serious uh, voltage out of this thing. I don't know if this controller is actually gonna put out that power, but we'll have to see. And if there's any modifications that we could do with the software on this, that would be kind of cool. So basically a uh, unboxing video of unboxing already. Uh, didn't hit record for some odd reason, didn't record. But I hope you guys liked the video. I'm probably going to be doing some videos on uh, building the battery bank and stuff like that and just trying to get an e-bike going off of one of my existing bikes, my multiple cons that I have. So, hope you guys like the video. If you guys get a chance, give this video a thumbs up. Also, if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel, hit that subscribe button. And as always, thanks for watching.